Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on goodwill. Now let's start with what is goodwill? Goodwill is an intangible asset that consists of things like intangible artistic assets, consumer's trust, etc. Goodwill cannot be felt or seen. This is why it is an intangible asset on the balance sheet. A goodwill asset cannot be separated from a firm and traded, put on rent, licensed or sold off. Other examples include patented tech and the firm's brand name. Goodwill is bought by paying over and above business net value during acquisition. The net value of a firm is the overall value of its assets, physical or intangible, minus the liabilities. Moving on to features of goodwill. The value of goodwill differs according to who is trying to measure it. There is no fixed value. It is a matter of opinion. The net value of goodwill does not depend on the amount spent or invested in the business. Goodwill is very sensitive to the influence of developments outside the firm. It is unlike physical assets, not a separable asset from the business. Goodwill cannot be felt or seen. In other words, it is intangible. Moving on to the types of goodwill. First, institutional or enterprise goodwill. Institutional goodwill continues when its owner steps down for someone else. It is goodwill that is attached to the firm and not to those who run it. Next, professional or personal goodwill. Professional goodwill, on the other hand, is attached to the founder or the person running the firm. It is not attached to the firm itself. Next, purchased goodwill. Purchased goodwill is goodwill that is bought from the previous owners during acquisition. It is an amount paid over and above the combined net value. Net value is determined by all the assets that are separable from the business. Next, and finally, inherent goodwill. Inherent goodwill is goodwill that cannot be bought during an acquisition. It arises from within the firm. This is the value of the firm that is beyond the value of all its separable assets. Inherent goodwill is not always positive. It takes time to build it either way. Moving on to advantages of goodwill. First, business value goes up. Goodwill can help improve a brand's overall reputation. An increasing reputation also means an increasing value. This is taken into account when investing in or acquiring a business. That is why goodwill provides a lot of leverage. More goodwill means more investment and a higher price during an acquisition. Next, it makes firms stand out. Multiple businesses offer many products and services of a similar kind at almost the same price. As a result, there is a lot of competition in the market. Goodwill can be the deal maker for many customers. It is what helps them choose one brand over many others. Next, consumers are more likely to overlook errors. If goodwill exists with consumers, they are more likely to forgive and forget mistakes. Goodwill has to be built up for this. There has to be extra effort put in. Consumers have to be looked after personally. They must get more than what they had hoped for. And finally, brand loyalty is increased. Goodwill means consumers are more likely to return to the business for a service or product. As a result, they are more likely to stay faithful to the brand. If they feel good about the firm, they can tell people around them about it. This will also bring in more customers. And moving on to example of goodwill. First, of Tesla. Tesla's goodwill has exhibited a stellar growth in the last four years. It increased from a mere $60 million in 2017 to about $207 million in a span of just four years in 2020. And the final example of Amazon's goodwill. Amazon's goodwill has exhibited a stable run in the last four years. It increased from $13.3 billion in 2017 to $15.4 billion in a span of just four years. So that's it folks. This brings an end to the topic on goodwill. These are the list of sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.